Welcome back to Fool the Road. It's been three months and two days since I last updated this channel, which I really, I've got to apologize for that. That was really bad for me to let it go that long. However, since then, the channel's passed 1,200 subscribers, which is crazy considering it hasn't been updated in a quarter of a year. So thanks for all the support. The last time we were, um, did anything on the channel, I started stripping down the 64 Sprint GT, this one behind me. I started getting all the trim off of it and I did do some work off camera to finish stripping down the passenger side door that was full of rusty components. Uh, today we're going to keep going and I'm going to strip out what's left of the electrical system, the glass and start stripping the interior because I want to get this car down to metal as soon as possible because I have this creeping suspicion that this car is mostly made out of body filler. I really want to see what the damage is so let's get going. So a lot of people have asked me why I'm bothering to strip this car down in the first place. They said it looks, it looks pretty okay, why not just do some touch-ups? But I'm concerned about the stuff that's lurking under the surface that I don't really know about, like this. Whoever did the bodywork on this car before I bought it used an incredible amount of filler and it's just cracking up everywhere. It's... It's really looking very, very untidy. And there's some structural points that I'm not terribly happy with either. So I really want to make sure that this car is right. I don't mind a little bit of filler here and there on a panel if it's just a cosmetics thing, but when it's structural stuff, I'm, it really concerns me. This car was in an accident at some point, and this front corner was quite badly damaged and actually cut out and replaced, but the da accident damage wasn't all repaired properly. Like this, little wall here is bent just in the front um, ahead of all the suspension stuff it's all sort of warped and I'd like to fix that and uh, of course get this front end um, looking a lot better there's cracking on the corners here this didn't show up until I was on my trip you can see that obviously these cars have a bit of flex but you know having str having filler in all these kind of places every time the car flex it just starts to crack and chip and it looks very very untidy it's not the kind of um, endorsement of my work that I really want to be driving around in. And of course there are um, other spots where it's not so tidy as well. All right, I'm going to start pulling up the electrical system and anything that gets in the way is just going to come with it for now. Uh, for now I'm going to leave the mechanicals in place and we'll get to that in the next episode. But um, So today we're going to do wiring harness, dashboard and a lot of the interior and then the glass. Obviously, I'm not terribly precious about this loom. It's, uh, for starters, it's not very good. And uh, also, wiring on these old 60s and 70s cars is so easy that it doesn't really make sense trying to save um, an old loom like this, especially when my plan for this is to modify it quite a lot to include some extra equipment and to move the fuse box out of the engine bay and into the interior. So, I'm not really going to bother saving this loom. Essentially all I'm going to do is keep the, like the bulb carriers and things like that and build a brand new loom from scratch. I'll keep the fuse box and reuse that, but it'll be inside, mounted on the inside of the firewall instead of in here where it's exposed to dirt and moisture and things like that. Most of the wiring is now out of the engine bay and what's left is really behind the dash here. But I think to get to that without it being too much of a fuss, I'm going to take the steering wheel off and the dashboard out sort of as it is now with everything attached and that should make it easier to pull the wiring out. This steering wheel is really on tight 
and I tried putting a puller on it, but I'm worried about breaking it. So I'm going to leave it on for now, and in a future episode, I'll put a proper dedicated steering wheel puller that uh, bolts into these two holes here on and pull this off. But for now, I should be able to get the dash out. I've undone the single M6 nut on the bottom of this that holds it on. So this should actually just pop up. It's quite a simple panel to get out. Right, next up will be all these little 8mm bolts along the top and the two bolts that are on the ears here that bolt up on the side and then this should be free and we'll drop it forward and start pulling the wiring out from behind there. So I've got the dash out and it was a bit of a fuss trying to undo all the cabling and the electrics behind it. There was quite a lot of stuff like, you know, the choke cable and the um, hand throttle and the drives for the speedometer and the tack. There's, yeah, there's quite a lot going on behind there and it just takes, it's a lot of disassembling, a lot of quite boring stuff, taking out stuff like the, um, the indicator and the light switch, uh, vents from the heater. Um, it's a bit of a mess really. So it's looking pretty bare inside at the moment. There's not much left under the dash except the heater which I'll remove when we pull the engine because it's hooked up to the plumbing. Uh, the engine bay is looking a lot more spartan now. Here's most of the loom or what's left of it. I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to throw this out. There's very little on here that's useful and because I'm redesigning the entire electrical system to be a little bit more robust, I'm not gonna bother keeping that loom. It's just not really worth it. So the only bit of electrics left is the loom running along, uh, along the sill and then into the boot. So I'm gonna pull these seats out and then pull those rear panels off and everything. And then we'll pull those wire, all those wires through. And uh, yeah, the interior is pretty much almost stripped down now. There's not really all that much left. So this is the entire wiring loom off the uh, Alpha 105. And honestly, this can all just go straight into the bin. I'm not, not even vaguely interested in reusing this. All of this, uh, all the carpeting stuff comes out pretty easily. It was just glued in. This I'm gonna toss as well. This is not really worth keeping. Actually, this whole interior comes apart a little bit too easily. I think uh, next time around, next time around I'm going to build a bit more of a, a much more solid and cleaner interior. So I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to. I've got quite a lot out of the car actually. Obviously the glass is still in it, but it's getting quite late. It's been a very long day and um, I'm gonna call it call it a night. However, tomorrow I'm gonna get in here and pull this headlining out. The headliner and the interior lights and the mirrors and all that. And I wanna do it in such a way that I can reuse this headliner because it's actually really, really nice and I wanna preserve it. So tomorrow, which will be a new episode, I'm going to pull the headliner and pull the windows, uh, pull the windscreens. Obviously this rear shield is quite nice and uh, I want to get this out without breaking it and of course the rubber in it is still quite new and that's all very good. The front windshield I'm pretty sure is going to break when it comes out because of this crack here. Um, 
that was from stone throwing children in Ethiopia of all places um, yes the car it's looking pretty sorry for itself it's coming apart relatively easily there have been some struggles along the way this is um, some of the things found under the seats remnants of uh, souvenirs from the travels 20 Kenyan shillings and 5 euros um, this car has traveled as always thank you for watching for the road and thank you to all my new subscribers and welcome there should be a lot more regular content coming up now this has been a very very short episode um, did not get nearly as much done today as I would have liked but there'll be plenty of stuff coming up later this week anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Thank you.